next up approaches the venue. I must say the weather has certainly cooperated. It's beautiful here today. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Chelsea up against Crystal Palace. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Jorginho plays with Enconte in the centre of the park. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Raheem Sterling. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Jeffrey Schloop starts alongside Eberechi Eze in central midfield. And rather than use a strike punch, gone with just the one player in attack. Been plenty of excitement here at Stamford Bridge. Are you an awful lot of green space to run into? Kukureya Sterling. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. A wonderful intervention. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Conte. And now with Havertz. Huehi. Chelsea regaining possession. Sterling. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. N'Golo Conte. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Zaha. And over the touchline for what will be a palace throw. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. Thiago Silva. 
this is Aspili Quetta. Kukureya. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And Chelsea with the ball again. Well, they've given him too much space. And the play then, and a Palace throw in forthcoming. Well, that's a completely wasted throw in. Kai Havertz. Sterling has it. And the ball back with Palace now. Ezzi. Odson Edouard. Havertz. Kukureya. Kai Havertz. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. But timely defending when it mattered. Sterling. And he was in the right place to intercept. Be onto something with that ball. Not the best challenge, free kick. <laughs> Delivered into the box. Valley on to James Reese James well Chelsea have had so much possession as you can see but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far they just haven't had enough guile in the final third it's all been a bit too predictable which has to change if they want to win this one good looking ball there could be a chance now Tyrick Mitchell Zaha well, straight at the goalkeeper then Havertz Match a very good tackle might take the lead Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. One beam against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. So Palace game restarted, disappointed to have conceded, now can they come up with a quick response? And space here on the flank, a really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Sheikh Dukure. And Goro Conte, that's what he does. Habes. Veering in field. What a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Anderson. 
Ducouré. Ayou. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, and Goro Conte influential in that first half. What have you made of his performance so far? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. And they kick off here. Fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, not the easiest of chances. Tightly marked, but not even close in the end. A very good tackle. So the ball moving again, and work to do for Crystal Palace in this second half. Mount. James. An unforced error, you've got to say. Zaha. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Sheikh Ducouré. Return to Zaha. Good work to regain possession. Schlup. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, the goal was at his mercy. Well, it certainly was. He has to score there. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Kuribali. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Zaha. A very effective challenge put in. Mount. He has time to play it over. And not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Sterling. Can he take advantage? Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Kuribali, Kukureya, Jorginho, committed challenge. N'Golo Conte, it's with Kuribali, Sterling, excellent defending. Ducouré. 
Back now to the goalkeeper. Sterling. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? A smart stop here. Hudson Edouard. And possession given away. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Aspini Quetta on high alert. Intelligent threaded pass here. Surely. Sheikh Dukure. Effective challenge. So here we are nearing the end of the contest. Can Chelsea turn a lead late into the game into an official victory? Stuart, how would you critique their performance of this one? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And of course, they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Just cutting off the supply. Sterling in with a chance. 